Hi everyone, Simon here with a review of Mars Power Industries Deluxe. The Deluxe version is available on PC and came out this week and is uh, an expansion of the iOS and Android version that came out last year. Uh, the game, if you're looking specifically for the Deluxe version, has uh, extra levels, new mechanics and a bigger soundtrack. But if you're new, this is a mystery puzzle game and I very much enjoyed my time with it. Uh, this game sees you play as a plumber slash electrician and you're sent up to Mars to basically reconnect everything back up again because the colony that was up there originally seemed to have disappeared and uh, the whole kind of power industry has fallen into desolation. Uh, this is done by linking together generators to or, or like elements on Mars itself to the buildings and you do that through pylons that come down the left hand side of your screen. The pylons come down the screen in a very specific order. There's no time limit to anything. It's all turn-based, but you must follow the pattern of um, like what's at the bottom of your chain is the next pylon that you need to use. Some pylons will shift that element that you're using, be it electric or water, um, to the sides. It might be up a couple of um, squares. It might be that it does it in like a ray so that it goes forward, forward left and forward right. It just depends on the type of thing that you're doing. Um, and there'll be other things that get added onto maps as you go further into the levels where uh, say like you light up a certain beacon and that will power up or send water like in a L shape across the map like horizontally and diagonally or something like that. Um, and it will mix up how you need to do things. Certain buildings might need water and power or two lots of power or two lots of water and so on and so forth. And so you'll really need to work out how to place all of your pylons as you go along to connect up the dots. That ordering becomes super important because actually from term to term the uh, map state changes. So you can only place pylons in like the direction of where you're going and what you've either lit up of for electric and water. But that square that you might have now just gained access to might for that turn have spikes pop up. Um, or it might have an alien has just like kind of watered into it so that it's not actually safe to put something down there, that kind of thing. And so you really need to be careful and sometimes it takes a bit of back and forth to be like, right, if I go to there on turn three, it's actually blocked. So I need to do that on turn one or turn four and kind of work your way around something. Because quite often you'll be able to see how to get to A to B and complete the level in a simplistic view. But because the level changes up its states, you have to go about it in a very different way. And it kind of reverse engineers how you think about a level. And it's actually really quite clever, very enjoyable. The game comes with no text whatsoever and it does have a story that's going along on the side as to why the colony has disappeared and some of the sinister alien going ons uh, that are going on on Mars Power Industries. Um, the game cites Dune as a big influence in terms of tonal feel and um, I agree actually because when you've got like the post-rock style synths um, and apocalyptic synths going on in the background very gently um, across with the dusty feel of everything um, and the fact that there's like things going on on the maps that you're not entirely sure of but it will eventually kind of work towards a story that's told um, without verbal communication. Really really quite clever and enjoyable. The only downside of that is that on the very first couple of levels I didn't realise that things changed turn to turn. I thought I was personally changing the state depending on where I was putting the pylons. So that kind of was initially lost for me for the first two or three levels and then I was like ah no I get it now and then I was fine with the game for the rest of it. Um, in terms of difficulty it is quite tricky because you have to reverse engineer some of the levels that you're doing but I was never stuck on anything for particularly too long and sometimes I just needed to go away and come back and think about something with fresh eyes. Um, and it's taken me about five or six hours to try and get to the end of the game itself. Um, but it's very, very satisfying and very enjoyable. So anyone that's looking for kind of a logic based like power setup, power grid style gameplay um, or puzzle mechanic, I think you'll absolutely love Mars Power Industries. Thoroughly enjoyable, really well put together. Um, yeah, two thumbs up from me. 
thank you very much for watching i hope that was informative any comments or questions please do drop them down below i'll be putting a written review of this over on higherplanegames.com over the weekend um, so that you can mull that over too cheers for watching bye bye higher plane games is part of the higher plane network a collection of media projects ran by me if you like what you see and want to find out more, visit patreon.com forward slash higher plane network. Your support can make so much more possible, be that a like, a comment, a share or a pledge. Thanks for watching.